everybody, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some weapons that I would like to see return in year three, I guess it is now. We're moving into year three that were in year one. So as you guys know, we had Lord Highfixer come back, the Longbow, Devil You Know, LDR, etc. We had a bunch of weapons come back that we could get to our max light level. So I thought it would be kind of cool to go through my vault and look at some of my old favorite weapons. One, see how they actually do in the Crucible, because it is a very different world to what it was when they were super popular and relevant and see if I wanted any of them to come back and which ones would I bring back if I could. So you are watching my first choice. My first choice is Time on Target. This was my favorite pulse rifle. It was my absolute go-to to just absolutely destroy everything. Now let's start off by taking a look at the stats of Time on Target, comparing it to other pulse rifles that are current and looking at the perks that were on this weapon. So mine, and I'm pretty sure this was the vendor version, came with Head Seeker, Perfect Balance, and Reactive Reload. Now when we compare the stats in terms of rate of fire, impact, range, stability, etc., it is very, very similar to the Hawksaw. Super similar. Hawksaw has slightly more range, well at least mine does, but they are very, very similar in terms of archetype. They have the same rate of fire and they have the same impact. So of course, you guys know how much I love my Hawksaw. Naturally, Time on Target was my favorite back in the day. The big difference though is Time on Target has 24 in the mag and Hawksaw has 30. That is quite a big difference. As I was playing with time on target, I definitely found that I was running out of bullets a lot faster. And that's probably a good thing because it has reactive reload. And of course you want to take advantage of that. But in general, I just found that it maybe wasn't as good as current pulse rifles in the game. Grasp of Malak is a lot easier to use and Hawksaw definitely felt a lot easier to use. But where time on target really just went in and was the best thing ever was when you got kills. When you got kills, you just started like racking up more and more and more and more kills and it just wouldn't stop You go on a complete Rampage as soon as you pick up that first kill, which is really cool And that's what I love about the weapon and I definitely found as I was using it more and more that in those situations It was way better than anything that I had but in just like a one-on-one -on -one gunfight I don't have any kills. You don't have any kills I definitely felt like the Hawksaw and the Grasp were a little bit better which is weird because Time on Target was like my favorite thing ever. It was my favorite weapon. I adored it so much. But it just shows you how much Destiny has changed. And I'm going to go into that a little bit when I talk about the next weapon that I want to come back that you might be able to guess what it is. And that is... Ephrodite's Spear. Now, Ephrodite's Spear, I never ever had final round on mine. I never wanted final round. I never used final round in my entire life on a sniper rifle. Of course, Thorn, I used Thorn. It had final round on it, but you know, and shotguns. <laughs> but never have I ever used it on an Ephrodite Spear or any sniper rifle. So the one that I had has short gaze, unflinching, snapshot, and clown cartridge. I adore clown cartridge so much. And legitimately, I really like Ephrodite Spear. I find that it's still my best sniper rifle. It's the one that I enjoy using the most for sure. But what I did find while using Ephrodite Spear is that sniping has gotten a lot easier. Now, I know that there were snipers in the game like Her Benevolence and Longbow, and I wasn't really much of a sniper back then, so Ephrodites was kind of all I had, and those had higher aim assist than Ephrodites. Ephrodites has one of the lowest aim assist for snipers, but when I switched to my Longbow, I was like, this is way easier than it was back in the day. <laughs> like, way easier. And that's just because sniper rifles, even the longbow, the current longbow compared to the older longbow, I'm pretty sure it has more aim assist. So sniper rifles in general have gotten more aim assist on them than they did previously. But I still love the spear. Like, the amount of damage it does is insane. It has the highest impact, and I love that. I love the fact that it's like a go big or go home kind of sniper. Like, you either hit them in and kill them in one shot, or you are just screwed unless you're a blade dancer and can get a quick shot with your primary But I really like Ephrodite Spear. I would love to see Ephrodite come back in some kind of weapon I would love for it to be a sniper if it could come back as like an exotic sniper. That would be 
the bomb. I would love to see something like that because I think we all kind of have a special place in our heart for Ephrodite's Spear or a special place in our hate body for Ephrodite's Spear. But those are the two weapons that I would love to come back. And it was just super interesting using them and seeing how Destiny has changed in terms of weapons that are strong and weapons just performance in general. So if you have any weapons that you would love to see return, I highly recommend just going into your vault and using those old weapons and seeing how they feel in the current meta and I think you guys might come to similar conclusions as me but please do let me know in the comment section what is one weapon or two weapon or three that you would love to see return to destiny from year one thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you awesome people later bye